Just tuned in, I'm joined by Rye from the True Blue. Welcome back, Rye. Thank you. You've been uh, out on the road with Crowns, played a couple of shows. Was it good fun? Yeah, it was awesome. It was really nice to play uh, play uh, with a band that was in the same genre, to be honest. It was really good fun. And we uh, we played down in Cornwall, which was nice to go back there uh, with our old band. We played there a lot, so it was nice to go back there and see a lot of uh, familiar faces. Yeah, um, but you're, you're no strangers playing with, um, you know, supporting big bands in your previous bands, Lost Profits, um, yeah. countless other, Enter Shikari, countless other bands. So you're no stranger playing with big bands. Do you, do you always sort of, when you're playing out these bigger shows, is there more anticipation upon you guys? And do you sort of take more from the whole show and what the other bands are doing? Um, no, to be honest, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I just do my own thing. <laughs> don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind whether I'm playing with a... I mean, obviously, it's nice when you're playing with a, a well-known band and you've got a decent crowd watching you, but every show, you know, that we play is... We're playing the show, and we'll play every single show the same, you know? Yeah. Now, um, your debut single, Hillary Song, yep. comes out on Monday. Yep. Um, you looking forward to this? Yeah, yeah. It would be nice we got the launch party on the 7th at Mama Stone's. Which That's free entry as well, isn't it? Yep, yep. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. We've got a couple... B sides uh, recorded on it as well, so it's all available on iTunes. So, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's nice to to be able to release the B sides as well, you know, because they didn't make the album. But it's nice to have them released for for, the, for our fans to to have them as well. Yeah. Now, your album. If people want to check you out right away, they can go onto uh, iTunes, HMV, various other download stores, and actually download the album now, yeah. which is yeah. available now. And the single with the new sing- the B side of stuff is out on Monday. Yeah. Um, one thing I do like about you guys is you put this single out, you've gone and recorded a single, you're putting it out, mm-hmm. but it doesn't stop there. You've gone no. one step further you know, than a lot of bands do. It's not a case of just putting it out to sell to your mates or get to gigs. You're actually put, This is being seriously pushed. Now, you've got some very, very big players behind working with you guys. Yeah. You've got uh, a promotion company that are working with The Killers, Kings of Leon, Nero... Kanye, uh, Kanye West, <laughs> just some real, real big names these guys yeah. handle. You've also got on board the chap who pushed the Enter Shikari album, which went straight into number one. Yeah. How the hell did you get these guys on board? Uh, well, uh, we literally just sent off uh, the album, um, you know, hoping that maybe they'd like to work with us, and uh, they got in contact and said they, you know, I guess they enjoyed it so much they offered to do it for for free. So you've got these guys, these, luck. <laughs> these, these massive companies working behind you. So if they, these guys believe in what you do, else they wouldn't be, yeah. they wouldn't be wasting their time with you, else, which must be quite a good feeling. Yeah, it's a really good feeling. It's a really good feeling. I've been on the internet and I've seen um, you know, a couple sort of reviews sort of starting to pop up of the single and a bit of mm. promotion and stuff. So you know, you guys, you've been working seriously hard behind the scenes behind this as well. Yeah. It's, it's really good so that you got to this point, you're pushing the single, it's gone national. What's it like to get the feedback from a lot of the companies that you've been working with? It must be quite a buzz sort of, you know, team yeah, it's, it's, it's getting out there. Yeah, it's cool. It's nice to 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 read some some of the feedback and and see that people are listening to it. And some people give you reviews where you know maybe they don't know exactly what you're going for, and other other times they hit hit right on the button. And and so uh, it must be really rewarding knowing that people yeah, really, really do cool. get it. Well, yeah, it's really cool to 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 see, see a review and see that someone's you know compared my voice to someone or something like that. And I think right, well, you bang on there because I get told that a lot. It's good. It's cool. Yeah, no, it's definitely definitely way to go forward. This just doesn't stop there. You like say you got uh, you got quite a few shows in the pipeline. Yeah, quite close. So people can actually come live and check you out. Mm. You say you play Mum and Stones on the seventh. Yeah. Um, you're supporting Skin and Demoralised at the Cavern. I think that's on the 10th of Saturday. And even one bigger than that, you're supporting the Popes right here at the Phoenix on yeah. Sunday the 11th. Now, that must be a show worth. Yeah, we're definitely. really looking forward to, uh, to playing that. And uh, uh, I'm quite excited as well because um, I was told by Steve, our guitarist, the other day that um, I'm a big Johnny Depp fan. And I was told <laughs> the other day that uh, apparently Johnny Depp recorded on one of their albums back in the 90s. And I thought, oh, someone that's met Johnny <laughs> Depp, I thought, that's cool. <laughs> well, obviously, you know, that, that's going to be one hell of a show. And, and by doing these shows, you're getting across to three different, totally different crowds, yeah. which is, you know, definitely good. You've, um, you've got to the point now, like I say, you spent a lot of time last year, was really concentrating on your album. You played a few shows. You played um, a couple of shows here at the Phoenix. Yeah. Um, as well as these shows coming up, you, you know... You've got these gigs, um, Newport as well, 22nd, yeah. and Karma Lounge. So, and you played in Cornwall the other week. So yeah. you're starting to spread your wings out a bit. Is that the plan really now, is to, is to get out a bit more, get out of the Devon area? Yeah, I mean, now we've got the album out, we don't need to worry so much about uh, the album. Although I'm always writing and always wanting to record, 
it, we can kind of sit back on the album for a bit now, go out and, and do some shows, promote the album. Um, but we are uh, in the middle of writing for an EP for the for a summer release. So uh, I think it's just going to be one of those things, you know, busy all the time, gigging and writing and recording all the time, so there's no stopping. <laughs> yeah, things don't seem to be stop, stopping for the true blue, do they? No. <laughs> um, it's good as well. Last year you played the Watch It Live yeah. uh, festival, very, very good festival. Yeah, it was really um, About 5,000 people. You played the Croissant Nerf stage. Yeah. Um, this year you've been invited back. You're yeah. doing the main stage. Now, you know, it's a big. that's quite a big step from the tent to the main stage. That must be quite a good buzz as well. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was really good because we didn't know what to expect. We'd never been to watch it festival before and when we turned up we were like oh look at that tent that's pretty cool and then we played it and uh more and more people started crowding into the tent um and we got a really good reception and um yeah uh, asked to come back this year on the main stage which we were really happy about once again the popes are headlining that day as well so yeah. um so it can be a good day all in all yeah um we've got any sort of other festivals in the pipeline um, we're we're hoping to get um, a couple more, but I can't say anything about it yet because so it's all in talks. Yeah, still. Yeah. Um, so what's the plans? Obviously, the singles. Obviously, you know, you put a lot of work into the single. You're pushing the single really hard. You've got the gigs to push the single on. Mm. Once once this campaign is finished, what's what's the next step for the band? You know, you're talking about recording. Uh, is there any plans? Any major recording coming up? Uh, well, uh, for the for the um, EP for the summer, uh, we're still writing at the moment. We've got. A f- a few tracks for it. We're going to do a five-track EP, um, and I recently got in contact with uh, an old friend who recorded my old band's CD. He works now with Professor Green and uh, the he's rap actually, artist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he does like uh, sound engineer and technician work with, with him at the moment, and uh, he's actually on the Jessie J tour at the moment with her, and, and I, I think Professor Green. So that's that's a good thing. Like, um, well, that's quite a major step, isn't it? You've gone from you know the last the album you recorded and produced yourselves with the Cosmo King Boys. Yeah. Now you, you're working with you know some guy who's a studio engineer for Professor Green. That, yeah. <laughs> that, that's not just a step. That's a huge, huge step. Yeah. So you must be quite looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. As I said, like uh, um, we've recorded with him before, and he's a lovely guy. So we can't wait to see him again. Uh, but we also know that he's uh, amazing in the studio at recording. So. Uh, we're looking forward to get it, getting it recorded. Now, um, you say you're going to go and record an EP. Um, are the plans sort of just to carry on writing to get another album together? I was thinking about this today, actually. Um, at the moment, I'm set on just working on the EP and getting some songs done for that. We've already we've been writing in the practice room, and we've already scrapped one song that we wrote recently. So that one that one's down the drain. So it's I've still got to write two more really for the EP and. Uh, but I'm, I'm coming up with a lot of fresh ideas at the moment, so yeah, there, there will be a, another album, but probably probably give it a year. It's going to be a very very busy time, obviously, with the festivals, the gigs, and writing, and uh, the next single yeah. as well as this single. It's a um, very very busy time for you guys, and you're definitely pushing the, the stone forward big time. You know, things yeah. are just so you seem to be moving on to bigger things all the time, which must be when you look back, must be really rewarding for you guys, knowing that you're putting the effort in, and the results are starting to show now. Yeah, it's 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 a really nice feeling to see that you know we put in a hell of a lot of hard work since we started doing the band and now we're starting to see something back and it's really nice yeah definitely definitely now um you also after this pope show and stuff like that looking forward to the future you're gonna be playing a part of uh, this show the collision live um, here at the phoenix yeah. on the 4th of april you looking forward to that show yeah i am because i think i think my first acoustic gig as the true blue was a collision show and it that was what pretty much pushed me to actually carry on with the true blue really so it's it's a nice it's a nice event to do especially with the whole band this time as well so it's always a good it's always a good night yeah definitely definitely um looking forward to the show a lot um obviously got these raining days sound the sirens as well as another band to come on so let's recap on it so next wednesday mama stones yeah with uh, support from sound of the sirens very good show good very good lineup as well mm. um saturday you're doing skint and demoralized saturday the, the 10th at the cavern yep March the 11th, you're, you're here at the Phoenix supporting the Popes. the Popes. And then 22nd, you're at the Karma Lounge in yeah. Newport. Yeah. And that's just for time being. So mm. um, the single's out on Monday. Yep. Um, obviously, all the da- major download sites, it's available from the album, is out now. And you can check the True Blue out. What's this website, the uh, Facebook page again? Uh, the True Blue official band page. 
also with the single we, we're going to be doing a, a limited run of uh, hard copies of the single uh, maybe 50 to 100 so that people can actually hold something you know and these are going to be available at the gigs to take it yeah yeah um not on the launch night but they will be a, uh, available soon online and all that as well excellent and also there's <coughs> www.thetrueblue.com as well to check out all the links can be found on your facebook page well like you say the single is out on monday i wish you all the best with that do you want to before you go do you want to introduce it yep uh this is uh hillary's song uh by the true blue thanks very much for coming in right thank you brother cheers Another thing coming Cause you 